Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where we will show you how to design steel connections in RAM connection for an analyzed RAM structural system model. So let's begin. RAM connection can design connections for a variety of joints. During the connection design process, we will assign connections to the different joints using the RAM connection database of predefined connection templates which are separated into different connection families. As we start designing connections, we will select joints within the same connection family with similar forces so they can be designed together. For this video, we will be designing connections for the horizontal braced frames that were analyzed and designed in RAM structural system. Now let's turn our attention to the sample model in RAM connection. This steel building structure contains horizontal braced frames, which I will now isolate into our view. Reviewing these braced frames, we will be designing some gusset connections for the horizontal column beam brace joints. Let's go ahead and start by selecting the appropriate joints in our model. I'm going to unselect everything Go to the Home tab in the Ribbon Toolbar and use the Elements Joint Selection tool. Here you can see that each connection family can be selected independently of the others within RAM connection. For this example, we're going to be selecting all of our horizontal column beam brace joints. Once your joints are selected, you're ready to start your connection design process. To do that, go to the Design tab in the Ribbon Toolbar and click on the Assign icon. Now within the Connection Assignment dialog, we're going to ask the program to assign a smart connection. So all vertical or horizontal gusset connections are considered smart connections. We're also going to ensure that the horizontal column beam brace templates are selected, and then we're going to select the appropriate template according to how we would like to detail this connection. I'm going to go with a horizontal column beam brace connection that connects the gusset with a clip angle. I'm going to select the appropriate connection template and then click on the assign button. After the assignment process is complete, the first place we take a look at is the notes area. This will let us know if there were any errors or warnings during the connection design process. Now for the current model, I did receive some errors that are basically telling me that none of the templates matched the expected connector type. The reason for that is because I have more joints selected than I'm actually designing with this particular connection. I can see in the view window that connections were assigned to all the joints that I was interested in for my horizontal braces. So I'm going to go ahead and move on. Now after performing your connection design process, the first thing you want to do is take a look at the status of your connection design. Let's go ahead and go to the View tab in the Ribbon Toolbar and click on the Status icon. This will show you the design status for each of the connections that you currently have selected. If I take a look in the design status window, I can see that each connection will be color coded based on its design status. All of my connections are currently in green, which means that a successful connection template was assigned to each of those joints and no errors or warnings were produced. If I wanted to double check to make sure that I don't have any errors or warnings, I can click on the red X or the design with warning icon and if I don't see anything in the data area, that means that there is no situation that produced a error or warning for my current joints. Now after performing the connection design, you may also want to review the detailing of your connection and make any modifications that you might prefer. To do that, go ahead and select any connection in your main window. Once you select the connection, 
go to the Design tab in the Ribbon Toolbar and you can edit your connection design. In the data area over at the left hand side of the screen, I'm going to see that there's a variety of parameters that were used to define this connection. In the interfaces window particularly, I'm going to see that there are several pieces of information that I can customize per my detailing preferences. Each of the interfaces is available through this pull down menu. So you can see I can customize the gusset itself or also the connection to the right beam and front beam and also the gusset connection itself. For this particular model, I'm taking a look at my design status. Since everything is passing and the detailing looks acceptable to me, I'm going to go ahead and keep it as designed. Now before I exit the connection pad, let's take a look at our DXF view. In RAM connection, you can export your DXF to your preferred drawing platform for each of the connections within your model. In addition to that, if you want to review your connection design report, click on that results icon at the top of the screen. This will show you your design calculations for your connection and it's going to provide you quick links to each area. If you wanted additional information, you can ask the program to view the formulas, which will show you all of the equations that were used and the variables and the code references to arrive at these conclusions. If you did receive any errors or warnings, you'd be able to zero in on those parameters that would need to be adjusted through the connection report. Let's go ahead and close the report. Now, if you made any changes to your connection, you're gonna to wanna to hit the save icon. This will change, save those changes to that currently selected connection. For me, I didn't make any changes, so I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of the connection pad. Now this concludes our process for assigning a horizontal gusset connection to my horizontal bracing frames in RAM connection for an analyzed and designed RAM structural system model.